How long is it? No, it's a long race for a long <laughs> How long is it? <laughs> I'll spend the eight minutes to go. Yeah. But the chair is coming up. No. I'm happy. Let's go. No, stay here. No. <laughs> Right, so we'll settle down. Oh, well, Dave, do you want to kick us? Anyone wants to uh, kick us off or from the uh, Sunday guys? Give them a dinner. Yeah. You're gonna. Con sorry. Congratulations. Oh, sorry. Very good victory in difficult circumstances. How Absolutely. would you sum that one up? No, it was already the perfect summary. If you want, um, yeah, very, very important end out, out for us uh, because of different reasons. Really difficult. Stoke is a difficult place to play. To come here, it's uh, really difficult to, to take the points. Uh, in our situation, it was we knew before it's much more difficult, but we still thought it's possible. Um, first half was actually um, not as good as we thought it could be. It was two completely different halves, obviously. Uh, we we had to change the system. We couldn't train it really. I don't like this too much, but uh, the situation forced it, um, and um, so we. we Actually, we couldn't train it, <laughs> and, and that's what everybody could see, obviously. But uh, defending was not a problem, and I thought actually it could be more difficult in defending, but that was not a problem. We didn't defend like we, like we usually do, so we were not, um, we couldn't play high pressure, or whatever. So we, we had to stay a little bit deeper. So, but they didn't create a lot of chances. But it, they scored a goal, and um, in this situation, it was not a system question of system. It was only losing two challenges, the first and the second goal, um, and yeah. Half time, then it, uh, again, difficult decision to make because um, I, it was not clear that um, Roberto and Phil will be ready for 45 minutes. So um, Robert, Roberto had, after last game, a guy who usually never, never says anything about how he feels or whatever, said, "Wow, I'm really done." So after two games for Brazil, last game after injury, played Man City, flying immediately to Brazil, play there in his situation try to convince the people coming back, playing immediately the, the, the derby and so on. So he was now at a point where, we, where it was clear if we tried to bring him through 90 minutes, it will cause us real problems. Phil lost three kilos in the last three days. So um, for most of us here, obviously, it would be um, a good a good news. But um, for Phil, sorry, um, for Phil um, and a professional football player, it's not as good. Uh, uh, he came this morning in, hot in the hotel and said, "I'm fine, but we knew it will have he will have a low energy level. It was I would say full enough for 30 minutes, and then we had to fight, and um, we needed then Simon Mignolet, you know, two outstanding saves. The second one was one of the best I've ever seen. Uh, save of the day, of the month, whatever, of the year. It was outstanding." Well deserved for him because he uh, he got a lot of criticism, of course, in his probably in his Liverpool career, and that's now uh, to show this. That's sometimes these are the moments you, you need as a player, and for us as a team, we need a goalkeeper. Then in a moment like this, eh? and he's got two fantastic goals, played football in the second half. How I said first half, we didn't play football. It was not because of Trent and Ben. They were not even involved because we shot always long balls. We tried to find Devok because. Obviously, nobody really felt comfortable in, in this in the system, um, and we saw this. We couldn't change the system really in the second half. We did a little bit, but only offensively. So we still played still uh, with three in the back, and changed Kleine and Milly from the side and all that stuff. Yeah, but we played much better football between the spaces. Created chances, scored fantastic goals, and had luck in. And a fantastic goalkeeper in two situations, but they crossbar. I think first half, you saw it maybe better from my point of view. It was a clear penalty, mm -hmm. um, and um, it probably was handball. Eh? Martins Indy <laughs> in a situation like this, um, that um, then then would um, Daniel would have been one on one the goalkeeper. So still, we had maybe more situation in the second half. So I thought it was deserved. It was lucky for us, of course, because the first half, but. At the end, it's deserved, and we are completely happy and fine with this game. Eh? <coughs> Were you a bit uh, reluctant to take off the, the teenagers just for what it might do with their confidence? Yeah, usually I would be, but we have such a close 
relationship that I would say it's, it's immediately all the players went, went in a dressing room and didn't celebrate went immediately the boys they didn't look um, like it's the best day in their life maybe it started like this and then it, it doesn't end like this that's life um, for adults very often and they don't have to react like adults and they can be disappointed but we will uh, we will help them more than we help anybody else so everything is fine it's not about them it was. It was not. We didn't. We didn't use them. They were not involved in the game. They had two or three situations. How I said, if Ben, if it's a penalty, what I thought it is, then he did the job because he was in a situation in the box where obviously the opponent cannot win the challenge without making a foul, and and we, we could have scored the equalizer, and everything would have been fantastic. It, it's not their job to be best players on the pitch. They have outstanding, uh, outstanding talents. They are fantastic boys. Uh, our boys and so everything will be good yes but I didn't it was not didn't feel like I want to do it more each week or something like this it's not nice but it's a job yeah I am absolutely it's um it's what you wish um, defending is uh, it's about organization and everything but um, the two goals were no, not the goal, which we conceded was we lose one challenge and they could run in behind and the cross was pretty similar to the goal we conceded against Stoke at home. I, th I thought it was again a header, the first post area. Um, and the big chance from when Arnautovic um, could run in behind and then immediately with uh, this pass and fantastic um, sliding whatever of, I didn't even know who it was. Um, and then this reaction, that's what you need to be successful. Uh, that the goalkeeper makes saves like this, you cannot expect it each week. But when he's doing it, then it's like scoring a goal. Any final ones, guys, before we do the Monday's breakout? Oh. Yeah, there was, there was absolutely no way that he could have started one of Coutinho and Firmino. Then we would have, then, then it was like we understood it, the possibility pretty high that we have to change after 30 minutes. So, we have a lot of numbers, we have different things what we get from, from sports science and everything and this was the moment when you had when everybody, when each alarm clock was ringing if you want, uh, for both, if you have to lose three kilos, point one, yeah. so you, you saw it I thought in the, in the second half, so brilliant, brilliant, but then half an hour <coughs> really difficult and when you have to do this in the first half. It, it, it was not a plan to, to change twice in a half time, but if we start them, it was still we have to. And it was with offensive options different, difficult. For Daniel, half time is really long in the moment in an intense game like this, so it was difficult to find the right uh, solution. Yeah, maybe I'm lucky that at the end it worked out, um, but um, I thought a lot about it and uh, even when nobody really all understands it but that was then my decision and the solution I found it. I thought we could have played much better than we did um, but um, it was clear that we want to bring them only we thought half an hour makes absolutely sense and if it's then nil nil um, then yeah, they can decide the game so they had to do a little bit more work. Final question Tony then we'll do them on this. It's a bit difficult and you didn't play very well but when you win this in this way what did you do to Massive, huh? it's absolutely massive. It's, it's that like it feeds actually. It feeds like this. It was um, we won a few games this year, so um, I don't know who else, but uh, we won a few. But this is really special. Today you could feel it immediately in the dressing room. It was I I immediately. Uh, everybody was like, "That's very important." But of course we have to prove it next week and next week and next week. That's how it is. But it feels outstanding good in this moment. So I can imagine. And that's so fit exactly the opposite because they were really close to to get points today, maybe all three, maybe one. Um, but at the end, um, we all worked really hard, obviously, for for the three points, and we got them. So we are happy for today. Brilliant. Thanks, guys. Thank you.